ओके एवरीबॉडी सो आवर टॉपिक इज बाइनोमियल थियोरेम सो एवरीबॉडी नोज अबाउट द बाइनोमियल थियोरेम दैट एनी एक्सप्रेशन कंटेनिंग टू टर्म्स इज कॉल्ड बाइनोमियल ओके दैट द थिंग एन एक्सपेंशन ऑफ एक्स प्लस ए होल्ड टू दी पॉर एन इज कॉल्ड द बाइनोमियल थियोरेम नाउ व्हाट इज द एक्सपेंशन एक्स प्लस ए होल्ड टू दी पॉर एन इक्वल टू एन सी जीरो एक्स टू दी पॉर एन प्लस एन सी वन एक्स टू दी पॉर एन माइनस वन ए एंड सो ऑन एंड द लास्ट टर्म विल बी ए टू दी पॉर एन so the power of x decreasing and power of a increasing and these are the binomial coefficients nc0 nc1 nc2 ncn these are called binomial coefficients and you know the formula for ncr that is factorial n by factorial r times n minus r factorial number 2 is a very important relation because if you have any in any situation if you have ncx is equal to ncy then either x equal to y or x plus y equal to n that is very important relation and there are n plus 1 terms in the expansion of x plus a whole to the power n the sum of powers of a and x in each term of the expansion is n okay now what is the greatest binomial coefficient that may be the important questions in je so if n is even n c n by 2 takes maximum value among n c r r equal to 0 1 to n if n is odd then nc there will be two terms actually so nc n minus 1 by 2 and nc n plus 1 by 2 take maximum value among ncr okay so if n is even your maximum value will be taken by nc n plus n by 2 and if n is odd n c n minus one by two equal to n c n plus one by two take maximum value among n c r r equal to zero one to n etc. So what is the general term? Actually, main important formula is this general term of the binomial. If you know to in every calculation you require this general term. So you have to know very carefully that what is and the most important part of the binomial is the general term. So your general term is a T R plus one eighth term that is N C R x to the power n minus R a to the power. This is called the general term of the binomial expansion. So now middle term. What is the middle term? So if n is even, the number of terms will be odd. So there will be one only one middle term, and the middle term will be n plus one n plus two by two eighth term. This is gonna be n plus two plus one eighth term. And if n is odd, the number of terms will be even. So naturally, there will be two middle terms. One is n plus one by two eighth terms, and another one is n plus three by two eighth terms. So this is about middle term. Okay. So if n is even, n plus two by two eighth term. If n is odd, n plus one by two and n plus three by two eighth term are the middle terms. Okay. now this is this is also very useful what is the expression for tr plus 1 by tr if you divide the terms coefficient actually so it's got it's uh, tr plus 1 is ncr x to the power r a to the power n minus r and tr you can write tr minus 1 plus 1 so it's going to be ncr minus 1 x to the power r minus 1 a to the power n minus r minus 1 so that's the simplified expression will be simplified expression will be n minus r plus 1 by r a by x okay so this is simple problem you have a expansion x minus 1 by x whole to the power 6 so if you expand this is the simple expansion now suppose you want the find to you want to find the 11 term in the expansion of this so let us write the general term first in every problem if it is a problem of finding any particular term or it is uh, if it is a problem for finding a term which is independent of x suppose you want a term which is independent independent of x means uh, power of x is zero actually that is the meaning of independent of x no x is there so no x is there means the power of x should be zero in that case you will have a constant term yeah there will be a constant value so in this problem let us find the tr plus 1 that is a general term so that's uh, 20 cr because n is 20 3x to the power 20 minus r 
and minus 1 so it's minus 1 to the power a r so x root 3 1 by x root 3 whole to the power r now uh, you can simplify this for 11 term uh, r must be 10 so substitute r equal to 10 and calculate you will get the answer so that is the way of calculation you can calculate any term it can be 99th if it can be 12th term it can be 13th term anything another problem suppose how to uh, deal with this problem suppose you know second term third term fourth terms of an expansion of x plus y whole to the power n that are 240 720 1080 respectively find x y and n so what is your second term t2 that's gonna be nc1 x to the power n minus 1 y that is equal to 240 what is your t3 the consecutive term actually nc2 x to the power n minus 2 y square equal to 720 t4 that's gonna be nc3 x to the power n minus 3 y cube equal to 1080 so now you divide divide the terms t2 by t3 t1 uh, t3 by t2 and t4 by this is this is your t3 over t2 and this is your t4 over t3 calculate okay so this is the simplified form now dividing equation 1 by 2 y by x cancel you will get n so find n if you get n you can calculate x and this is the calculation this is the simplest way of calculation okay yeah that i was talking about the next problem find the term independent of x these are very simple problem so first of all you write the general term that is tr plus 1 at term calculate tr plus 1 at term so and simplify the power of x power of x is 18 minus 3r now in the question it is said that is independent of x so naturally you have to find out the power 0 so 18 minus 3r should be 0 or r equal to 6 so substitute r equal to 6 you will get the term 7 term r equal to 6 means the 7 term is independent of x and the value of the term is 7 by 18 if you calculate so this is how you can use the general term in every problem and there are some simple problems for you you can try these problems there are some relations on uh, binomial coefficients some of the binomial coefficients is 2 to the power n that is very important uh, result actually we use the result in uh, permutations and combinations also uh, we have different problems in permutation combination using these results these coefficients actually so and also this is the result this is another result n 2 to the power n minus 1 that is equal to nc1 2 nc2 plus etc n, n times ncn so that is from this the proofs are here and if you integrate 2 what is your equation 2 yeah this is your equation 2 you look at that your equation 2 is this this is your a equal to 1 okay equation 2 this is your equation 1 this is your equation 2 so from equation 2 if you integrate equation 2 you will have this result this is also result and if you put x equal to 0 k equal to we get k equal to 1 by n so these are the results actually by integrating by substituting you will get the results okay yeah now this is very very important in je actually numerically greatest term of binomial expansion how will you get the numerically greatest term so suppose tr plus 1 is greater than tr or tr plus 1 is the greatest term that means tr plus 1 must be greater or equal to tr the previous term so let us calculate tr plus 1 by tr numerically so we will take the modulus maybe the sign negative sign is there in the term but I am ignoring that negative sign so we take the modulus so tr plus 1 by tr that is equal to ncr by ncr minus 1 uh, mod x my x by a so that is the calculation already we have calculated ncr by ncr minus 1 that can be calculated as n minus r plus 1 by r mod x by a 
So that must be if TR plus 1 is greater than TR, so TR plus 1 over TR must be greater or equal to 1, okay, must be greater or equal to 1. So that this expression must be, must be greater or equal to 1 and for given A, X and N, for given values of, from here you can calculate R, R must be less than or equal to N plus 1 by 1 plus mod A by X. So greatest term will be TR plus 1 where n equal to box of you can put the box that is greatest integer r must be an integer that is integer function so that if now there is a note you can calculate from here the greatest term now there is a note if n plus 1 by 1 plus mod a by x itself a natural number then tr equal to tr plus 1 and both the terms are numerically greatest if it is a natural number itself a natural number without putting inside the greatest integer okay so that is the method for finding greatest term of binomial expansion and that is important for je you have to find out the greatest term okay i have an example for you all of you find the greatest term in the expansion of 2 plus 3x whole to the power 9 if x equal to 3 by 2 so x equal to 3 by 2 is given here so this is the calculation for every problem of greatest term just calculate tr plus 1 over tr so i am supposing that r plus 1 -th term is the greatest term r plus 1 -th term is the greatest term so naturally it will be greater than the previous term so tr plus 1 by tr greater or equal to 1 so i have calculated this this is simplified form n minus r plus 1 by r 3x by 2 so that is equal to you know n n is 9 10 minus r by 9 by r you know x also x is 3 by 2 so this is the expression after calculation and if you plug here you will get r less than equal to 90 by 13 look at that 90 by 13 so that if you take the integer greatest integer that will be 6 so 6, r equal to 6, that means the 7th term is the greatest term. 7th term is the greatest term. But you look at here, this is not directly the natural number, but you are getting by putting in the greatest integer form. So this is, the, this is how you can calculate for the greatest integer, greatest term of a binomial expansion. Okay, everybody? So now, yeah, I'm skipping this portion. This is the integration and relations. Yeah, this is also very important result. Uh, let me talk about some important results. Yeah, number one, if root p square root p plus q whole to the power n equal to i plus f, where i and n are positive integers, n being an odd integer and f is the fractional, 0 less than equal to f less than 1, 0 less than equal to f less than 1. Then you have to prove that 1 plus f times f equal to k to the power n, where p minus q square equal to k greater than 0 and root p minus q less than 1. So, given root p minus q less than 1, this is given here. Therefore, if you take the power that must be less than 0 to 1, lies between 0 and 1. Now, let root p minus q whole to the power n equal to a prime, where 0 less than a prime less than 1. I am supposing that. I am supposing. So, i plus f minus f prime is, you know already i plus f is in the given p, root p plus q whole to the power n and a prime is root p minus q whole to the power n. So, subtracting, this is the subtraction. So, since RH is contain even powers of root p, since n is odd, you will have even powers of root p always because n is odd the main power of binomial is odd 
therefore which implies rhs is an integer because root p to the power some even number p to the power half so that's and to the power some even number so rhs is an integer okay since rhs in rhs and i are integers f minus f prime is also integer therefore f minus f prime is equal to 0 because minus a prime f minus a prime should be within minus 1 and 1 that is f equal to a prime so that is the proof that is the proof how we are dealing with this problem this type of problems and also another problem you have you can try this okay for everybody i will share the presentation Okay, next is multinomial expansion. This is also very, very important for JE. If n belongs to n, natural number, then the general term of multinomial expansion, x1 plus x2, etc., xk to the power n is. This is multinomial expansion. Actually, you know only binomial expansion, so I'm, exp I'm not generalizing the fact. So, this is multinomial expansion. And the expansion of this is factorial n by a1 factorial plus in times a2 factorial, a3 factorial, etc. ak factorial times x1 to the power a1, x2 to the power a2, x3 to the power a3, etc. xk to the power ak. Okay. This is multinomial is the general term. This is the general term of the multinomial expansion. This is the general term actually where what is a1 a2 a3 the sum of a1 plus a2 plus a3 etc ak should be n and each ai sh should lies between 0 and n that is 0 less than equal to ai less than equal to n i equal to 1 to 3 k and number of terms in the expansion are n plus k minus 1 c k minus 1 okay so I will use this, this multinomial to find out the expansion. Now I will state binomial theorem for any index. It can be fraction or it can be negative fraction, whatever. Your general binomial expansion will be n belongs to real number. That is any real number. So 1 plus x whole to the power n and n is any real number negative positive fraction rational irrational whatever so 1 plus nx plus n n minus 1 by factorial in that case in this case you cannot write c you cannot write c ncr combination c cannot be used here because c for integers only natural numbers combination can be for natural numbers you can select things from natural number you cannot select things from the fractional so it is general 1 plus nx n into n minus 1 by factorial 2x square etc n into n minus 1 n minus 2 into n minus r, r plus 1 by factorial r x to the power r etc so this is a general expansion yeah i will use multinomial to explain one problem for each everybody the coefficient of x to the power 3 in the expansion of 1 minus x plus x square whole to the power 5 is you have to find out what is the coefficient of x cube in this case you see there are three terms so this is multinomial more than two so let me write the multinomial formula first x1 plus x2 xk whole to the power n is factorial n by n1 factorial n2 factorial etc nk factorial x1 to the power n1, x2 to the power n2, etc. xk to the power nk. Also, 1 minus x plus x square whole to the power 5 is equal to, I am writing using this multinomial, factorial 5 here, n is factorial 5, and n1 is the power of 1, next term is minus x, so minus x whole to the power n2, Next, third term is x square. So, x square whole to the power n3. So, factorial n1, factorial n2, factorial n3. Also, it will satisfy n1, n2, n3 will satisfy two relations. One, the sum of the n1, n2, n3 will be 5. 
the total index and what is the combined power of x look at that the combined power of x is n2 and 2n3 so n2 plus 2n3 that should be equal to 3 n2 plus 2n3 equal to 3 because you want the coefficient of x to the power 3 you want the coefficient of x to the power 3 so that will be the combined power that is n2 plus 2n3 equal to 3 okay now i have to select n1 n2 n3 randomly this must be an integer positive integer which satisfies these two relations so we can select trial and error method so mm -hmm. i am selecting 3 1 1 2 3 0 these two are the only possibility satisfying these two relations 3 1 1 2 3 0 only two cases or two sets of values that will satisfy both the equation okay 3 plus 1 plus 1 will be 5 and 1 plus 2 will be 3 next 2 plus 3 plus 0 will be 5 and 3 plus 2 3 plus 0 will be 3 so these two sets of values satisfies 1 and 2 so these are the required values so substitute in this binomial this is summation multinomial this is summation so first result will be factorial 5 by 3 factorial 1 factorial 1 factorial 1 to the power whatever with the power 1 will be 1 so minus x to the power 1 and x squared to the power 1 that's gonna be the first term okay and next will be uh, 2 3 0 so that's gonna be factorial plus factorial 5 by factorial 2 factorial 3 factorial 0 a uh, minus x to the power 2 and x squared to the power 0 uh, sorry cube and 0 so this will give you the answer if you simplify this is a so this is how you can find out the coefficient in case of multinomial it can be there can be four four terms also you can use it yeah there is another problem look at that you have again you have three terms and you want the coefficient of x to the power 5 so you can use this multinomial you can write uh, what is what you have x square minus x minus 2 whole to the power 5 so you can write x square minus x minus 2 yeah whole to the power 5 equal to summation factorial 5 again you have n1 factorial n2 factorial and n3 factorial so what is your first term x square this is 1 okay x square to the power n1 into minus x to the power n2 and minus 2 to the power n3 okay this is your so now you can use the what is the combined power of x the combined power of x is 2n1 plus n2 okay and that must be equal to 5 so two relations you have n1 plus n2 plus n3 equal to 5 and 2n1 plus n2 equal to 5 that will give you the three possible sets of values and you will get the answer so this is how you can deal with the problems of multinomials okay okay everybody so this is how there are a lot of problems i have solved a lot of problems here you can go ahead with the problems okay so that's all everybody uh, this is my email contacts okay everybody that's all for today